Hello friends, I am Megan. Welcome to my channel, Creating Essence. Today I wanted to share with you uh, a couple of books, three books actually, about gardening and nature and just some fun things to get kids involved in um, outside and where their food comes from. We are blessed to be able to grow a garden where we live hanging out in my garden right now. It is my happy place. I wanted to share three of our favorite books with you today about gardening and growing things. <clears throat> book number one is The Usborne Book of Growing Food. This is a super fun book. It is kind of a guide about how to grow something and it is in totally fun kid language, very colorful, lots of pictures, little I spy things in the pic in the pages like a ladybug on a leaf and a little cute snail crawling over the edge of the flower pot there. But there are, are there's such an engaging book and it talks about before you start how to get ready, what the seasons are like, what things you might need about soil safety, eating what you grow, different tools that some gardeners use just so kids know what they are. And then a whole section on things to grow, carrots for one. And it just goes through and shows you from seed, like the supplies that you need, what time and weather is good for planting, what time of the year, when to harvest, where to try to grow them, so that even you as the parent, if you are a complete novice to gardening, you can do it with your kids. It talks about container gardening, so you don't need a plot of land to do this. You can do it if you have a plot of land to use. But this is talking about container gardening, so anyone, anywhere can do it. And it gives the kids all the whys for everything and how that works that way and how their food grows, how the seed changes, what happens when you water it, what happens when you give it sunshine. And it goes through so many different things, talking about sprouting things, making sprouts of all different kinds and how to do that. Doing peas, which are something are something that take a trellis, and they show you how to make one from things you have around the house and why they need it, and when to harvest, how to use the vegetables. I absolutely love it. I think this is fascinating, and I've been gardening for years. We had friends come over for uh, Good Friday in April, and our kids got this book out and was showing them this book. And they had never gardened before, and she was like, that is amazing. I want that book. <laughs> they loved it. And there's a whole index in the back of all the different things, all the different vegetables that it talks about, and fruit, flowers, herbs, everything. So you can get a really good idea. And you can actually use this to start growing some of your own food and teach your kids about how and why it works. I really truly believe that getting your kids invested in the process of where their food comes from makes a huge, huge difference in their health and wellness and how they eat in the future and how they eat their vegetables if that's something that your family struggles with. This is an Usborne book and I will post a link below with the um, where you can buy it on the website. The second book we love is Fresh Picked Poetry, A Day at the Farmer's Market. Now if you can't grow yourself, you can go to the farmer's market. Most areas have at least a small one locally and some metropolitan areas are blessed with a huge variety of farmer's markets. But this is super fun. This is something we got from the library. This is super fun because it starts with fun poems and really fantastic watercolor based illustrations about how the farmer has to get up crazy early and go pick those vegetables. 
and then he has to wash them and get them ready to go to the market. And it continues with how the parking lots and parks or wherever your markets are held are transformed into farmers markets. And then about how they're all on display. And one funny thing that my kids loved about this book is that doggy right there is doing something mischievous on every single page. And they loved reading the poem and finding what shenanigans that dog was getting into next. And it goes through how to figure out if it's ripe and the baked goods that a lot of markets have and how it can be messy at the market and how it's pretty important that it is because this stuff is fresh and how there can be um, market melody like music players at the farmers markets eggs at the farmers market and then at the end of the day how you go home with your fruits and veggies and breads and things and cook them up for your family we love this book we love farmers markets so i guess that's no surprise but my kids really really enjoyed this book and we've actually renewed it twice now because our library lets us do that because they love the fun little poems on every page and they think that silly dog is hilarious and the last book i have is butterfly eyes and other secrets of the meadow i found this book because um, Hannah of Pepper and Pine, if you haven't seen Hannah's channel here on YouTube, check it out. I will link it below. She is amazing. She recommended in one of her videos a book called, uh, I believe it's Dark Emperor and Other Secrets of the Night. It is a fascinating little poetry style book with learning and really amazing uh, illustrations in there. And when I purchased that, this book was recommended to me. It's a similar style, so I got this as well because I thought my girls would love it because I have one who's a real butterfly lover. And this is such a neat book. Firstly, just the inside cover gives you a taste for the kind of illustration that this book has. It is rich and amazing. Another page just of pictures. It's so pretty. And then it goes through, and the poems are really neat, but they're also kind of riddles, and they're informative. The kids learn something from them, but they're not really complex. This is talking about dawn and the pre-dawn. It's called In the Almost Light. And it gives you, it's in the dark, in the night, in the almost light, in the leaf crisp air just before sunlight, sprouts a secret silent sparkling sight berries grown on the vines of night and it just keeps going through and talking about it's trying to get the kids to connect with dew and what dew is and where it comes from and at the bottom it says what is it and the picture over here the illustration gives you a clue and those are the berries or the beads it's talking about and that's the dew and it just keeps going every page is like that it has really fascinating illustrations and the poems are really neat and there's always information in there teaching the kids something about nature and whatever it is they're talking about in a really fun way where they pick up on it and these illustrations are fantastic and it's like a game of i spy all on its own to see what you can find in that picture that isn't really obvious and there are more riddles, shh, they are sleeping. There's poems about nocturnal animals that teach the kids about it. And it is just such a neat, beautifully done artistic book of fun kids poetry where they learn something and riddles that make them think. And we really, really appreciate this book. I will link in the info box below where I've purchased all of these books so that you can see them for yourself. I would highly recommend checking your library or if you know someone doing an Osborne party, check that out. See if you can maybe sometimes they have specials, especially now in the summertime, something like that um, summer, the gardening book. There might be a special on it. It is 
You can get these books pretty inexpensively or you can borrow them from the library and it's really fun to get your kids engaged in where their food comes from and outside and connect with that. And summertime is a fantastic time to take advantage of those opportunities. Thank you so much for sticking around for us to, with us today. <laughs> if you have read any of these books, I would love to hear what you think of them. And if you have anything else that you would have added to this list, I would love to hear about it. My kids always love checking out new books. Uh, if you like my content today, if you could give me a thumbs up, that would be awesome. If you don't want to miss any future vi uh, videos, go ahead and subscribe so you'll get a little notification at the top of your screen when I post something new. Thank you so much, friends. Bye-bye.